Hey guys. All right. So today we're going to be doing a nautical theme wreath. Um, I was asked to do one for someone's beach house. So I found this um, anchor at Walmart and it was like this, just plain. And I thought about painting it, but for this particular one, I left it because I just want it to be neutral. Um, and I had someone gift me all these um, shells. So I took those and just picked out certain pattern and colored ones and I hot glued them to the anchor. And I thought that was kind of cute. And um, I also found out buying beach themed stuff is expensive. And I have this um, starfish that I picked up. Um, I have these shells, which aren't the ones that were gifted to me, but I have purchased these prior to that. So they've got some like pinkish colors to some of them. So I'm going to use those. And I figure I got a little Spanish moss left and I could use that. Um, I also made this bow, very neutral bow, and I used this burlap ribbon and just wanted to keep it very, um, I guess you, I don't know, just warm tones. Anyway, and I'll fluff that bow out later when I put it on there. So... I've not done this before, but I figured I'd give it a shot and see if it works out. I have this um, twine. I think I got it at Walmart. I'm not sure. And a regular old Dollar Tree um, wreath frame. So what I was thinking is, is just wrapping the rope around this wreath form. And like I said, I've not done it before, so this will be a first time try. And I think I'm gonna try to zip tie it down to the start. I mean, I can add some hot glue too, but I think for some extra security, I'm gonna try and see if a zip tie will hold it for that first point. Oh yeah, okay. So far so good there. So let's clip that. And then I'm just gonna basically nothing extremely difficult, just wrap it around and hit it with some glue here and there. Okay, so. Release some of this rope. I wanna kinda keep it on there somewhat because it makes it a little easier for me, but um, I'm not seeing how I can do that, so I guess we gotta turn it loose. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, so let's start by just wrapping the twine around. And I wanna try, and this is where I think the glue will help me. And hopefully, I don't get burnt up today. I wanted to just use some glue to get going and to try to hold it against itself. And I'm hoping that this is enough rope. I have no idea. <laughs> just going in and going for it, basically. And maybe glue is not going to help it. 
I don't know. And just continue around. Here come my dogs. I don't know if you can hear the pitter patter of their little paws, <laughs> but they're nosy. Okay, and I'm just taking my time because I really want to try to keep this rope as close together as possible so you don't see through it. And like I said, I'm just going to hit it with some glue here and there. Hopefully that works. And just keep going around, trying to pull tightly. But I don't want to pull too tight and then change the whole width of the wreath form. So, as you can see, this is what I'm doing. So I won't make you sit here and watch me wrap it. So I'm going to continue around and I'll be back. Hey guys, all right, so we've wrapped our wreath form, which it kind of was interesting doing it. My hands definitely feel it, trying to hold it tight and um, wrap it and keep it from having too many gaps in between, which, I don't know, maybe you can get it to lay perfect, but I kind of, like, squeezed it. Because as you're going and trying to keep it tight, it does bend the wreath form a little bit. At least when I did it, maybe I'm just rough. I don't know. <laughs> but <clears throat> that was my experience. And um, I used the entire roll. And I keep adjusting these. But anyway, I used the entire roll and it left this one little opening here. Which is okay because you can just set the bow there like so and that'll cover that up to which or we could do the bow sideways that way but I don't know let's see because we still have to place, which we could do him to a slant to the side, I think. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So why don't we just go ahead and put the bow on. And I don't mind that the bow is covering that little gap because I mean, it would just be covering up the rope right there anyway. So. And the way the rope slants, like, slants as you're um, wrapping it, I don't know how you could close that up without overlapping. I'm sure there's a way. And maybe next time I'll figure it out. But for now... I'm just going to cover that spot with my bow. But I imagine I could have worked at it and closed it if I had had more rope. If I had more rope, I would have figured it out. But since I don't, I'm not going to sweat it. Okay. So we've got our bow on. This one piece of burlap just keeps curling, which I guess is okay. It eventually will loosen, I imagine. So I'm just going to fluff out our bow, trying to be mindful with this burlap, not to mess with it too much. Because I'll just make it fray all over the place. And I love this um, this green. I don't know what 
exactly you call this shade of green, but I love it. And I'm not going to get too stressed about fluffing the bow because once I hang it, I'll really do the final, final fluff. I don't know, maybe we should shorten these tails. This one won't stop curling. I'm just going to put it under there for now. Um, I'll decide that later. But in the meantime, let's figure out where we're going to place... that side or that side yeah I think this side so it has a little rope on here but it's not quite long enough so I'm gonna take that out cut my own piece of twine that's a little longer and I'm going to tie it to the wreath form but I'm also going to use some hot glue and make sure that it's really secured on there well. If I can just get my, um, let's see if I can stab this through there to get the rope to feed through this little hole. My rope is a little bit bigger. Go figure. Great, now I don't think I can get that in there. <laughs> Maybe I should have left the rope alone. Let me see if I can see if I can get one strand in there and then just pull it. Yes, yeah, so that's not working. Floral wire, where are you? We'll just use that. It's okay. I'm gonna pretty much do most of the securing of it on there with glue anyway. But I just wanted to make sure I had a little extra hold. So I'm just gonna go right through here or attempt to go through here and get to the, through the wire on the wreath form. Okay. That was a fail. There we go. If I can get it to come through the other side. Jeez, what a struggle. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm just gonna twist this off here. Make sure we got it. There we go. There's that, and now we'll just tuck that extra wire down in there so it's not going to stick anyone. And now, I'll just take a little hot glue. Hold that down and let the glue set. And just got to wait for the glue. how that's looking. 
it's still applying some pressure. Just want to make sure that's set. Hold it for a little bit more. Get this glue off my nail. Getting my nails done was the worst thing I think I could have done for crafting. And I really think I'm going to go get these babies right off. Because, uh, I don't know about anybody else, but I find it challenging having them. Okay, so I think that's good. And now I'll figure out where I want to set my little starfish. Does it need a starfish? Or is the anchor good enough? Let's see. Press this get out some of, some of this moss. And I don't even know if this is a good idea because I don't I don't want it falling off either. So let's see. Take a little glue. And I'm just going to plop that on there. And hope for the best. <laughs> I'm kidding. It'll be fine. And just put a little bit in there. And stick it to itself so it doesn't come off. Trying not to burn myself. Well, that worked. Cool. And we'll open our shells. And let's place a couple of those. Just take a little glue, put it on the edge of our shell. Place it right there. And I think having the shells will help hold down the hold down the moss also. little guy. And over in there. I think it looks awesome. Just put a little dab of glue right here. There we go. Just get this excess off. I don't want it to show. Love it. Do I want another one like yeah, maybe right here? Oh, that's cute. I don't want to overdo it. And I'm on the fence about this guy, but I'm gonna add him. 
And then I think we're about done. It's just something simple. Nautical. And I also have something else that I just want to make sure I got enough glue on him so that he's going to stay. Some glue webs hanging. Keep that in for me. He should be good to go. Maybe just a little under here. Just want to make sure he's going to not fall off. Okay, guys. I think that's the end of that. And I'm also going to be making some little um, candles out of some um, Dollar Tree little mason jars that I spray painted. So, And they're going to go with this nautical reef game. And I think I want to cut these a little. Yeah, I think they're too long. So let's get rid of some of this also. Just too much. Too much, too much, too much. Don't need that much. It was just hanging way too long. I'll keep the green ones because I like the color. But there. That's better. At least I think it's better. Okay, guys. So there is our nautical themed wreath. I think I like it. So, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'd appreciate your feedback. And if you have any questions or anything, let me know. But I think I'm pretty satisfied. And like I said, there's um, the little candles that I'll be making next. So, I'll be back with those. <laughs> have a good day, guys.